we all knew this was coming as soon as Adidas dropped Kanye. They were the big holdout. They were the ones that people could point to. Well, don't come after me for still working with him or being involved with him. What about Adidas? Well, now that Adidas is gone, we have people like this coming out. We have Aaron Donald saying that they've decided to part ways with Donda Sports. But it's not just Aaron Donald. We also have Jalen Brown saying that they are separating from Donda Sports. And both of them mentioned their children. And they said, in light of that, after sharing conversations, I now recognize that there are times when my voice and my position can't coexist in spaces that I don't correspond with my stance or my values. For that reason, I am terminating my association with Donda Sports. Here, as a parent member of society, we felt a responsibility to send a clear message that hateful words and actions have consequences and that we must do better as human beings. We do not feel our beliefs, voices, and actions belong anywhere near a space that misrepresents the oppressive people of any background, ethnicity, or race. So basically, it sounds kind of like they might have worked on these statements together, but um, yeah, Donda Sports now has people leaving it. And I think we're going to see that for basically anything Kanye related. I would not be shocked to hear people try to have streaming services take action against Kanye's music. That might not happen, but if Kanye were, for example, to release a new album or anything like that with hate in it or MAGA content, I fully expect people would be like, yeah, let's get him off the platforms. And I think some streaming services would probably do so. He's basically become radioactive at this point. 